Hey coders, how are you? In this video, I'm gonna show you real quick how to code a pre-intermediate level game in Rust. Guess the number. You might want to check out my latest Rust programming tutorial and following videos to come each week along with other tutorials and videos based on your voting in the poll I create each week. So make sure to subscribe and to ring the bell to get the notifications for latest videos. All right, let's jump in. Now I'm inside my project called guess underscore num and I used cargo new command to create that project. Once you entered your project in the source folder, you will have this main function with the standard print line hello world. But we actually don't need that, so I deleted that line. And the first thing that I want to do is to import the standard library for input, as we will need the user to input a number. Then I'm going to create a loop, and I will name it outer underscore loop, so we will be able to leave it later. And it's going to be a looping structure. And I'm declaring a variable here called number of data type unassigned 32-bit integer with a value of 10. This is the value that the user should guess. A more interesting way is to generate a random number. This is very interesting for the user and you need to guess a new number each time you run your game. Next, I'm prompting the user to enter a number. Then I'm going to have another loop inside here. And I'm declaring a new mutable variable that's going to contain a new empty string. And then I want to pass a reference where we're going to store the string which we will enter. And that's why I've imported here above the standard input library. And that standard input is going to read the line of the line that's going to be empty. And basically we are saying that any input the user is going to enter through the standard input dot read line. And inside we're going to pass the line argument. This is going to be our input. And notice these squiggly lines here. Rust is complaining as these variables and loops are not used. To solve this problem, we're going to add an underscore before each name. So let's define our guess. An option value is going to return either sum with a value or none. And inside the brackets should be unassigned integer of 32 bit as we have defined in the number above. And this is going to be equal to input. And OK here means that the reader is at the end of the line of the input you have entered. Then we'll access a method called map underscore or. And this is going to return default value or apply functions to a value. So we're going to take the line and we're going to trim it and parse that string in order to be an integer value so we can compare between your guess and the predefined number. So the data types could be compatible for comparison. And after we have converted that to something useful, we can now go all matching guess and this is where the option part comes inside. So if the input is none, I'm going to print a line that says enter a number. And if some number is entered, then we're going to compare between your input and the number that's predefined, which is 10 in our case. If so, then we're going to print a line that says bravo, you guessed it. And then we're going to break out of the loop. That's why we have defined above this outer loop. So in case the match is correct, we're going to break out of it. So if your input is less than the number that's predefined, which is 10, I'm going to print too low. And if it's higher, I'm going to print too high. And if anything else, I'm going to throw an error and the loop will continue. All right, so let's go ahead and try our program by typing cargo run command. Okay, so pick a number, if we'll type 2, get too low, 5, too low, 8, 9, 10, bravo, you guessed it. We have manually assigned number 10 to this number. Another way, as I said, to generate a random number. And this is what we're going to do next. So the first thing that I want to do is to import the random range dependency. Not only that, but we'll need to go to cargo.toml in order to include this dependency in dependencies. Go ahead in this file, cargo.toml, and include in dependencies rand 0.8.3. And this important step will build actually in cargo.log the get random package. Now, instead of having this predefined number 10, we're going actually to create a dynamic one. This number will be of integer 32 instead of unassigned 32. Deliberately, I did that in order to show you the error that will occur when we'll execute the program. If you have defined in your variable i32, then you will need to define in the option also i32 and vice versa. Now this integer has an access to thread range inside the random package dot generate range from 1 to 15. So we're going actually to generate a random number from 1 to 15. This will be more interesting. And notice here below, the number is complaining because the data types are not compatible. In the option, it's u32 and up here above defined i32. Let's go ahead and run the program. 
as expected could not compile the program due to the mismatched types. Now if I will change U32 to I32 and save, notice that these red squiggly lines have disappeared. Let's run the program one more time. Now it's working. 5, too high, 4, too high, 3, 2, 1. Bravo, you guessed it. If we run the program one more time, just to show you that every time you will have a different number, let's say 10, too high, 5, bravo, you guessed it. And this is how you create guess the number game in Rust. Thank you very much guys, keep learning and I will see you in the next video.